qualified technician got the electricity hooked up and you can see we got good incoming voltage. It's not necessarily ideal to have these on a GFCI, ground fault circuit interrupt. It um, can cause you issues. So one thing you want to do is double check to see if you are and you can do that with a GFCI tester and uh, uh, you can just plug it in and then see that you got a good circuit, which is these two lights. That means it's uh, it's correct. Um, and, and then test it. So we know that we are. So the important thing that we want to tell our customer is, is that if they notice the gate operator running slow or giving a beep off saying that it's a low battery, that they may want to check the circuit, any outlets on the circuit, and then they may want to check the, uh, the uh, plugs as well too, as well as the breaker. So um, it's just something to be cautious of, but uh, we know that we've got one wired properly. We know we've got good voltage. Now we just need to let our customer know to be cautious about that. If a storm comes through or if water gets on the electricity or if there's too much moisture in the air and all the things that can make it trip and it does trip, that, uh, that could be an issue. Ideally, you want this on an independent circuit that's not a GFCI.